Hello, I want to show you my Bluetooth adapter which is possible to connect an iPad or iPhone to a tube radio. And you, need, you don't need to make any big changes, you just need to add this PCB to this radio. And this PCB also contains the best Bluetooth adapter what I've ever discovered in the internet. Okay. Let's switch on the radio. Now I switch on FM at the radio. And as you can see, here is an LED. This LED is till now not switched on. And this means that until now my Bluetooth adapter has no uh, electricity and it's not uh, switched on. Now we can switch on the pickup at the radio and when I switch on the pickup the LED is starting to blink okay and now with the LED is switched on it means the Bluetooth adapter is connected to my iPad and I can switch on as on We have the great sound of a tube radio from the 1950s connected to the clear quality of the new digital age. Is it not fantastic? So, if we switch on again FM, we switch off the Bluetooth adapter and everything is okay. Let's switch on uh, switch off radio and to show how does it works. So here we have a power supply for 5 volts. We use the heating, the tube heating with 6.3 volt and uh, with the 6.3 volt from the tube heating we make a, a 5 volt stabilizate. This 5 volt come to a DC DC converter over here and this DC DC co um, converter makes an isolated voltage. So we have no, it's potential free and there is no connection uh, between this, out, uh, this output voltage to any other voltages inside the radio. And here we can see a transistor. This transistor only switch on when pickup is switched on. If we switch on radio, this transistor will, st uh, will interrupt and switch off the DC-DC converter. How does it work? Here we have an optocoupler. This optocoupler uh, has an uh, LED from the input side and here we pick up for uh, the um, a node voltage of about 200 volts from the magic eye or uh, and if the magic eye is switched off it means if we push the button for pickup the magic eye is switched off and in this case the LED is also switched off Second part is a Darlington transistor inside the optocoupler. So this Darlington transistor is switched on when, the, when FM is switched on. And when FM is switched on, we have zero volt at this transistor. And because this is an NPN type, this transistor will switch off. If we switch on, on pickup, in this case, the LED is switched off, and we, uh, if the LED is switched off, the base of this transistor takes electricity from over here, 5 volts, and this, this transistor is switched on. And when this transistor is switched on, also our DC DC converter is switched on, and with the DC DC converter, together our Bluetooth module. Okay? 
And this Bluetooth module, of course, is Hi-Fi. And Hi-Fi is stereo. So we need a stereo to mono adapter. This I was also integrating in my PCB. Here you can see these two resistors. And here is stereo, Im stereo input and mono output. And I was also integrating an output for the LED you can see over here, the external LED. This external LED is possible to fix near the pickup push button so that if you see if there is a blue light indicating, you know the Bluetooth module is switched on. So this is a schematic of my telephone Opus 9. And this is exactly the point where I pick up the hot wire for 200 volt of a node voltage. Okay, and also I pick up the heating voltage from one tube. And you can see here is grounded and also the, um, two, uh, the node voltage is also grounded over here. So it means, it means I just need three wires one hot wire a node voltage, one hot wire of this, um, this heating voltage and one grounding. Okay, and here you can see the LED and this is the heating voltage and here is voltage from anode and ground. It is also ground for tubes. And this is a special cable for a uh, for our NF signal. Thank you for your attention and if you want uh, to have one of this uh, PCB you can buy it. Please leave a comment and I will contact you and tell you more about this project.